So before we said we have 15 chords completing the four auxiliary dominants uh, of the main degrees, namely the fifth of the flat seven. And the auxiliary dominants of the substitutes of these two here. So total four of them. And then we have uh, now 15 total, but this is the moment that we start explaining about the substitute dominance, so also known as tritone substitute uh, dominance, which are five. We have four auxiliary dominants and, and five substitute dominants. So, what, so what this thing, this triton substitution or a substitute dominance, are different from the from the from the substitution of these chords. Carefully, you don't confuse thing because sometimes people confu get confused here. That these main degrees, the first three chords of the, out of the four initial chords have one substitute below for the first minor, the flat third major, major seven, for the flat seven, the fifth minor, and for the flat six, the four minor. This has no substitute, remember that. So this is the substitute chords, which means can be replacing the, the other one, so you can play either one of these. But substitute dominant is another thing. It has nothing to do with these substitutes. So, substitute dominant is substituting who? This is substitute also, but it's a substitute for the auxiliary dominant. So, this one is replacing this. This one is replacing this. This one is replacing this. So, you see? Therefore, let's explain the first two that should be explained, although there are some here. The, namely, the, the fifth of the... Of the the substitute fifth of the, of the first, which we play here, this, this fragment of what said that this is the fifth. That is what that was with the auxiliary dominance. Now, if we Instead of using that, uh, we use substitute dominance, which sounds as follows. So that is was the first one we will analyze here is the Substitute dominant fifth of the flat seventh. These ones are different from these because generally, we said before, the auxiliary dominants move to a chord located at perfect fourth ascendant, while the substitute dominants will move to a flat second, they move por grado conjunto descendente, to a flat second diatonic descendant. So, Therefore, because we are going to G, the flat 7 of A is G in this case, G major, then we need a chord that is half tone diatonically up, meaning A flat 7. So A flat 7 is the substitute dominant fifth of the flat 7 in A minor. It sounds like this first minor, substitute dominant fifth of the flat 7, flat 7 sounds like this. A 
supposed to right, which was with this with the auxiliary dominant so we have instead of right, that is when this one moves to A flat A flat and then G so by, 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 by second minor descent that they move. It's not chromatical here, the same, because it's kind of chromatical for the ear, but it's not chromatical because we cannot say A, G sharp, G, because G sharp and G is a, is a chromatic interval, it doesn't change name, and because this, has, this is a fifth, automatically means diatonicism, which means it has to be regarded as, as a diatonic interval. You know, there are two kinds of intervals, diatonic and chromatic. To say it in simple words, the chromatic interval does not uh, does uh, not change name. For example, A, A flat. But when we say A, when we say a uh, different name, for instance, instead of saying G sharp and G, if we said A flat, G, that is diatonic because it changed name. So whatever, in, in, in harmony, notes are you know this is also G sharp and it's also a flat but for the mathematical fitting to fit mathematical and the whole thing we have to regard it properly as a diatonic interval so therefore we have A minor A flat seven and G right and then similarly here the chord located uh, a flat second diatonic up to this is G flat seven G flat seven sounds like this. If I use the auxiliary dominant fifth of the flat six, sounds this way. If I use the substitute dominant fifth of the flat six, sounds like this. Again, here we don't say F sharp. This and F because it has to be diatonic. So therefore, if I play first minor. Substitute fifth for the flat seven, flat seven, substitute fifth for the flat six, flat six, four minor, and then fifth seven, flat nine, will sound as follows. and these are two which are very, very important ones. Of course, this cannot move with a, from, a, from a substitute dominant because it would be the same like F, right? Uh, therefore, just to keep things simple, we will say that the first degree also have, first that we handle these two, which require a specific study also of melody, here, because well, you know, Paco he, he would use specific things for this chord, for instance, from this, right, like the Mano Melodic Escape.
specific this thing because it's not just not the chord we need to know also how to make music with it but we have to start somewhere and therefore at least we need to know this in every key right because if we say uh, F minor for instance or let's say C minor substitute dominant fifth to the flat seven oh my god now a blank is there in the mind and this chord should be immediately in your mind because when, when pieces will have fast passages of chords that change fast, for example, so this will not have weight that you calculate. You simply cannot play the weight if you are not fast enough. Therefore, this is the training. But we need to first know this very clearly. When we talk of any specific key, all the chords should bump. It should appear, the picture in your mind of all the family related to this key inside the Andalusian cadence. So this is not just, uh, this is flamenco harmony because it's based on four chords as opposed to just study of harmony which is based on, 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 on seven note scales, and the modern thing and the monomelodic, etc. All the scales which have seven notes and therefore seven chords, and we have just four, so I'm very specific. Four ones, because this is more important than this, although this is the tonic that we said in the first video. So, anyway, when you are interested to really learn this thing, you need to join the course in Skype. But to get you an idea, besides these two uh, substitute dominants, <laughs> La improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería, cada músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música debería, debería aprender porque en la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando y cómo estás tocando y qué armonías están en cada momento. ¿no? Pablo, Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo de Andalucía. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el, que, en el que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas eh, elaborando esa música.